I think if you look at the cassette here, and then you want to see these uh, disc brakes. It's this metal part here. Uh, but one of the things that will allow you to convert this to a gravel bike, not a real gravel bike, but a bike with wider tires that's more um, accustomed for going over dirt or gravel or, or bumpy roads, um, is a much bigger tire. And so what you can see here, uh, the limitation in putting in uh, a larger tire would be caliper brakes that would limit the size of the tire you could put in if they squeezed in over here. Or clearance of a tire so you can put in a larger tire. So one of the nice things about having disc brakes is that it gives you a lot of room. And then if you can see here, there's about um, one centimeter, almost, not quite, of space on each side of the tire to the frame and about uh, one and a half centimeters here um, that gives you clearance. And in the front uh, tire space, there's actually quite a bit of room. Um, probably about two centimeters on each side of the tire that will allow you to put larger tires here and turn this into a gravel bike. So let's get started. So uh, in order to sort of convert this into a pseudo gravel bike, um, I'm just going to enlarge the tires. I've already put a softer seat, which will help going over those bumps, uh, which I described before. Um, and what I did is I just went online to find some cheap tires that would be larger and you could put you know, more air and run them at a lower pressure so they would be more comfortable to ride. I estimated there was about almost one centimeter on each side of this tire, so about 10 millimeters. It's actually probably about 0.8, which was probably the narrowest area. So uh, 8 millimeters plus 8 millimeters and a 25 centimeter tire is 41 um, millimeters so you know I could probably put a tire in there up to 40 millimeters or so just to be safe I hope uh, I went on to be safe to find a tire that was around you know 32 um, millimeters um, however um, I couldn't find one that was the, as ex least expensive as these I actually went online Amazon and I'll put a link and I bought these tires that were 38 I bought these tires that were 38. So if you're not familiar with tire sizes, the typical road bike runs 700s. And this is actually 38, 738 millimeters. So it should be enough room, but we'll see. And the only reason I got these is these were, I think like $12 each, literally, uh, from Amazon as well. And in order to, uh, compensate. I couldn't recycle the inner tubes, so I went online and I bought uh, these inner tubes uh, that are for larger tires. These fit the 700 and they go 35 to 38 um, millimeters. And so uh, let's see if we could change it. The other thing that you want to look for on tires is the different types of valves. Um, this Volano has a Press the valve, which is the long skinny one as opposed to a Schrader valve, which is sort of what you would see on an automobile. Um, I guess it doesn't matter, you could have converted this to a Schrader, but I just like to keep the Presta anyway. And again, I'll give links to the inner tubes as well as the tires um, at the end of this video. So what I'm going to do now is uh, change the tires, hopefully they'll fit, um, and then um, show you how to do that.
So if you've never changed a tire before, they're fairly easy. I highly recommend you get something like these. These are um, uh, tire levers, they're called. Uh, they have one scooped edge here, which is used to scoop out the tire, and one hook that hooks onto a spoke to hold it in place. I'll show you how to do that. take off the tire all you have to do is uh, this lever here so this is what they call a quick release you just push this open you turn it around um, and then the tire comes out probably the best thing you want to do before you change a tire so is let some of the air out so it's easier to maneuver So that makes it softer. And let's change the tire. You're going to hook this thing in here. Underneath the tire, pull it all the way around. Use this hook area to hook onto a spoke, that's what I do. Take the other tire lever, put it right next to it, and then just sort of run it around here.
that's the inner tube.
So one of the things that happened that I worried about is uh, the tires were too big. And so um, when I pumped up the tires to uh, 85 PSI, which was the maximum of the tires, tires of course got larger. I cleared this area here, um, near the rear part of the frame, this sort of main post of the seat post. But where I started to rub, if you can see it right there, is the space between the wheel and this uh, front derailleur clamp. You know, so maybe instead of getting a, I guess, a, what were these, 37 millimeter tire, or 38, uh, maybe I should have maxed out around 35 or something like that. So if you try to do this during 35. So what I did is I deflated the tire a little bit, running it around 50 PSI instead of the maximum 85 PSI. See how that works. Okay, uh, the last thing I'm going to do is uh, change the pedals. So right now I have uh, these road bike uh, Put those pedals in there and I'm going to switch them to uh, mountain bike pedals. Um, I don't necessarily have to do this, a lot of gravel bikes have uh, road pedals, but uh, since I had a pair around uh, I thought I'd change them. Just so you know the difference if you don't know, these are road bike pedals, they sort of stick out from underneath. And then these are mountain bike pedals. Um, the thing about these pedals um, is that the the cleat that goes into the pedal is smaller and when it's lying flat it uh, allows you to walk without stepping on the pedals and wearing them down. And you can compare that to this one here that has underneath. So um, I'll just change these pedals and can show you the difference real fast. Pedals come on and off pretty easy with a hex wrench. Um, this is a side-by-side -side comparison of a road pedal, a mountain bike pedal. I like to uh, put a drop of grease on the pedals um, before I put them on. Make sure you figure out which one is right or left.
these are the tires I bought off of Amazon.com. And this is the Volano Shadow road bike I bought for $349. And this is the seat that I exchanged as well, which is more comfortable. And some bottle cages that I also got off of Amazon.com.